English 113 online, Shaw University, Fall 2017. We are in week 8 now. Oh, how the years fly by. The years? How about the weeks? I don't know. Something's flying by. Anyway, so what are we doing this week? We're going to learn about logical fallacies to help us prepare for the research paper we have come up. You're going to apply what is learned in the lecture in an essay. And I'm going to introduce the presentation assignment. So that's what's happening this week. So um, you're currently watching week 8 video. Good for you. When you're watching this video, you're going to watch the video on logical fallacies. Now logical fallacies can be a little bit of a challenge um, to kind of wrap your head around. So let me break it down very simply. Logical fallacies is basically something that seems logical or reasonable, but there's a flaw error in it. I'll give you an example. If I were to say monkeys like to eat bananas. Okay, factual statement. Monkeys like to eat bananas. Okay, got it. Professor Morgan likes to eat bananas. Factual statement. Therefore, Professor Morgan is a monkey. Uh, no. Okay, so that's an example of a logical fallacy where it seems logical but then it's not and this video kind of shows some different types of logical fallacies now how does that apply we're gonna to get to the poetry short story presentation in a second so often logical fallacies fall under slogans where they're trying to represent something um, that represent a greater cause but in doing so they don't really represent what it, they're claiming to represent. Now, please note, I am not saying personally that any of these are wrong. Okay? I am not personally claiming. I'm giving you several different um, slogans, as it were, for common things in the world. And you get to choose one and see well you know so for example i'm not going to use one of the ones here so let's say uh the slogan is um gosh what would be a good slogan mcdonald's i'm loving it okay i'm loving it okay well good for you i'm loving it okay well could you say well okay first of all what's your definition of love okay so you're saying that i'm loving it okay what it that's the food okay and I love it. Okay, does it love you back? You know, or something like that. You would basically look at the sentence or this, you know, what are they trying to say with the slogan, and what does it really mean? Okay, um, is it uh, just trying to persuade you? Is it fully representative of the issue? Is it too broad? In nature? Is it too narrow? In nature? Um, so again, you just look at one. Again, just one slogan through here. And again, I am again not saying any of these personally are wrong or right and these are all controversial okay so if any of them kind of get your blood boiling that's actually okay because that's what controversial statements do um, so uh, again I if I personally disagree with your opinion it's not gonna affect your grade and I won't even let you know because basically I'm just going to see hey can you pick one of these slogans and can you say hey I believe this has a logical fallacy because it states this but in reality, I think it means this, and here's why. And you, you know, you do that a minimum of 500 words. And then give some examples of why you think it means what it means. Okay, logical fallacies. Now, why is this important? Because you're going to be analyzing um, *Raisin in the Sun* for the final project for this class, and you need to be able to see past um, logical fallacies when you do an analysis to make sure that you are being as unbiased as possible. So we're just doing a little activity to help us with that. Okay. Now, let's also learn about the presentation assignment. For this class, there is a presentation. Um, how do we do that with an online class? Well, basically how I do it is that we um, have learned about poetry and we learned about short stories. So guess what you get to do? You get to create one of these. Yay! So if you click on this, here is the assignment. For this assignment, you will write a poem or a short story, or one or the other, okay? Based on what you have learned thus far in the class, apply the concept of audience for your work. Okay, this is very important. Audience. For this assignment, your audience is your professor and your fellow classmates. So you want to write this short story 
or this poem considering your audience. Now we have, um, if you think about your classmates, all sorts of different backgrounds, all sorts of different belief systems and stuff like that. Consider your professor, uh, again, old man, uh, I'm not going to, again, try not to put my personal views on anything, but also consider your environment. Uh, Shaw is affiliated with the Baptist Church, so probably not appropriate to include a poem that is full of, uh, you know, curse words or a short story that is, you know, basically bordering on pornography because that would not be appropriate for the audience of this work. See what I'm saying? I'm not trying to censure your work. But I want you to understand that this is, has a particular audience, okay? If you want to write poems with all sorts of swear words or, you know, short stories that, you know, basically pornography, go ahead. Just don't submit them for this class because that's not what the assignment is. Okay. Now, for either one, you can f feel free to experiment with styles and formats. Um, just make sure you're complete. For poems, minimum eight lines. For short stories, minimum 500 words. So that's the goal there. Poems, five... Sorry. So again, one or the other, one or the other, and basically you get graded on grammar and spelling and word count. Okay, so there's that. And then last but not least for this week is that there is, uh, there's actually two things. There is a midterm survey you can take to get extra credit. Yay! Who doesn't like extra credit? So take this and you can earn up to 10 points of extra credit towards paper one. Yay! So that'll be applied to either the first or the final draft depending on which one needs it the most. Um, again, do it as a doc or doc X, and then answer these questions. And last but not least, there is a quiz on logical fallacies. You can take it up to two times. The highest score counts, and that is basically from that video. So, and there's the deadlines. Please note, the poetry and short story presentation, even though it's introduced this week, it's not due for a, a few more weeks. It's not due to the 20th. But everything else is due by the 6th. 6, 6, 6. Well, that sounds terrible. Uh, October 6th, October 6th, October 6th. All right, there you go.